cute and adorable, not the kind of words you generally associate with spiders. But a Sydney scientist has just discovered seven new species of peacock spiders with incredibly vivid, colourful abdomens. And he reckons even the most extreme arachnophobes won't be able to resist them. Here's National Science reporter Jake Sturmer. Dr Jürgen Otto's love of peacock spiders began with a bushwalk in Sydney's Karingai Chase National Park more than a decade ago. I saw something jumping in front of me, a spider, but it was more nimble than other spiders had seen, so I looked closer and took a photograph. At just a few millimetres in size, you're more likely to step on a peacock spider than admire its beauty. But Dr Otto, whose day job is studying mites, clearly has an eye for detail. Picture a bird of paradise, a male, with colourful plumage, flapping its wings about, trying to impress a female. Now picture that same bird of paradise, four millimetres small. Now that's what you get in a peacock spider. Those peacock spiders are believed to be only found in Australia and the seven new species were discovered along the southern coast of Western and South Australia. One is iridescent blue with vivid red lines on its back resembling the face of an owl, complete with eyes, beak and ears. They're described in the jumping spider journal Peckamia. Normally people think of spiders as something ugly, scary and dangerous, but they're learning through my photographs and videos that they're actually cute and they are colourful. Dr Otto made the discoveries with his friend David Knowles, a Perth-based naturalist. Mr Knowles says the spiders use their colourful abdomens combined with impressive flailing leg moves to attract females. The males that have the best routines and the best colour combination, they will get to spread their genes into the next generation. So from a, a Darwinistic e ecological point of view, that's, that's the females putting pressure on the males to look better and dance better. And if you want to see the dancing for yourself, you'll just have to watch the ground very closely on your next bushwalk. Or you could just go to the ABC News online and see the great photos and video from Jake St